On this channel, we don't write candidates. You see Sudoku puzzles differently if you don't make pencil marks. This channel shows you how to do this. This puzzle is from Sudoku to Go, Volume 155, puzzle number 88. I'll admit, it took me a while to solve this, to, to see the solution to this puzzle. And I'll show you where I get stuck as we solve it. I should have seen it, but for some reason I just didn't see it for a while. But then I finally found it and was able to, to solve the puzzle. Before we get started, I wanted to point out that you can print this puzzle before you watch, and then you can uh, fill it in as we solve it on the video. Click on the print this puzzle in the description below, and you can print it. And also, there are lots of other puzzles there that you can print. Just go to this, uh, go to sudokuprimer.com, go to this menu item on that website, and you'll see um, a bunch of puzzles that you can print. And then if you're solving it and you're, you just get stuck, you can actually watch a video of that specific puzzle and see the solution. So check that out. Well, let's solve this. First of all, 7777. Seven, seven, seven. As I always do, I'll fill in some all the easy numbers. There's a 2 there, 2 there, 2 there. So that's a 2. And we got a 5 here, 5 here. So that's a 5. And in row 3, we're missing, let's see what we're missing, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9. And notice this cell and what it sees. We're missing 2, 3, 4, 6, and 9 here. And here this cell sees 2, 3, 4, 6, and so that's a 9. Now unfortunately we can't um, find any more numbers in this row at this point. But we got that one, so that's good. We also have um, a 9 right here. And I'll show you how I got that. It looks like a 9 could fit in one of these places or here. But uh, the way I got that was we've got a 6 here. One of these is a 6. We got a 7 and a 7 here, so one of these is a 7. And we got a ghost 1s right here. We got a corner pattern right here with a 1 in this row, so these are ghost 1s. So one of these is a 1. So we have 6, 7, 1, triplets. 1, 6, 7 triplets. So that leaves a 9 for that cell right there. Right. And then we've got a, uh, a th let's see, a 3 can fit here or here, but we have 8 9 twins right here. We've got an 8 and a 9 there, and an 8 and a 9 here. So that makes 8 9 twins right here, so that can't be a 3, so that's got to be a 3. <coughs> and then we've got uh, a 4 here, ghost 4's here, and so that has to be a 4 in box 3 there. <clears throat> and then we've got a 5 here with these 8, 9 twins right here. That can't be a 5, so the 5 has to go here or here. And then we've got 5's here, so we have 5 here and 5 in one of these cells. Using double column elimination, the 5 has to be in this column in row in box six there's a five here and here already so that makes that a five right there and then we've also got ghost fives here a five there and five there and five there so that makes that a five right there
All right, and now these eight nines I mentioned, let's look at this right here, this column. We're missing three, eight, and nine. Well, here's a nine right here, so these have to be three eights right here, and that has to be a nine right there. And then we can fill in the eight from our eight nine twins that, I, that we found. All right, and then we've got a nine here, ghost nines here. So that has to be a nine right there. Because there's a nine in this row already. And nine, nine, with this nine here, makes that a nine right there. And remember, these fives here, so that can be a five right there. We found this five because we saw one of these cells is a five, one of these cells was a five. With that nine, we can fill in that five and this five right there. All right, and now we've got um, a seven here, seven here. So go sevens there, seven there. So that makes that a seven right there. And then we've got a one here, ghost ones here. That makes that a one right there is this one right there so that makes that a one another way we can see that is we got one four right here already one four twins here we got a four there so one of these has to be a one and with that one it makes that a one all right and now let's see how many we got nines in this section we've got nines in this section and so we need nines here. We've got a nine here already. So that means a nine has to be in one of these two cells. And nine, nine, and nine has to be in one of these two cells. So we can't solve them with the information we have. But look at this. We've got a one, seven here, and a one, seven here. And ghost ones here, and a seven there. So these are one, seven twins right there. So that cannot be a 9. So that puts the 9 there. And this 9 goes right there. Because remember, those are the only two places we needed a 9. One of these two cells, one of these two cells. Okay. And at this point, I got stuck. If you want to pause the video and take a look at this, I, I thought this puzzle without... Uh, uh, using the next technique, which is unique rectangles, I could not um, find a, uh, another number. But using unique, unique rectangles here, I was able to find the next number. So you can pause the video if you'd like, but I'm going to continue on now. We've got three eight twins right here got a 3 here, so one of these has to be a 3. And using unique rectangles, oh, and by the way, we have two 6 twins there, which we can't solve yet. With 3 8 twins there, and a 3 in one of these two cells. The only place that a 3 will fit in box um, 4 here. Because of that, neither of these cells can be an 8. So that means the 8 has to be here. And we've got an eight here and eight here, and ghost um, and ghost eights there. So this can't be an eight right there. So that makes that an eight. And so it was these unique rectangles right here that helped me find this eight and continue on. Now we're missing three, four, and six in this column. We got a four and a six already in that row. So the three goes there. And these are four six twins right there. We also have an eight here and an eight here. So one of these was an eight. And with this eight, we know that couldn't be an eight. But now we've got a three there anyway. So we know this is an eight right there. 
All right, and then we've got one two twins right here and four six twins. With that one, we can fill in the one two twins. And in row eight, we're missing one and six. With that one I just filled in, we can fill those in. Like that. And uh, <clears throat> now we've got one seven here, one seven here. So one of these is one of these are one seven twins right there. That leaves that up. leaves a four right here. With that four, we can fill in the one fours here. One four twins we we had there. And the one sevens here, with that one, we can put a one there and a seven there. All right, and then we're missing six and seven here. I could have put that six in before I filled in the, the four and the one sevens, one fours, because we knew that one of these had to be a six. <clears throat> but I didn't do that till now, so we'll put the six and seven in now. All right. And now remember our 1, 7 twins that we found to solve that 9. Well, now we can fill those in with 7 and 1 there. All right, and then we've got, um, let's see, we've got a 2 here. The only number left in this column. And now we're missing... 3, 4, 8. 3, 4, and 8 here. We have a 3 and a 4 there, so that's an 8. Remember, the 8 has to be had to be here or here because of these unique rectangles. 3 8's there and 3's there. But we weren't sure which one. Now we found it. And these are 3 and 4 right here. We can't solve those yet. All right, now we're missing... 2, 3, 4, right here. There's a 2 there, so that's a 2. And we knew one of these was a 3, but now we know the other one's a 4, and with that 4, we can fill those in. And we can fill in um, the 3 eights right here. With that 3, we know that's an 8, and that's a 3. All right, and now we're missing 2, 3, 6. 2, 3, and 6 here. Well, here's a 2 and a 3, so that's a 6. And there's a 2 there, so that's 2, that's a 3. That makes that a 6 right there. And that makes that a 2. All right, now we're missing 1, 3, and 4 here. This is a 1, the only number left in row 1. And then we got 3, 4 there, and with that 3 right there, we can fill those in. And these are 4, 6. Remember those. With that 6, we can solve them. And now we've got a, uh, remember our three fours right here? With that 3, we can solve those. And we have, we're left with 6 and 8 right there. That 8 there makes that a 6, and that an 8. And that's it. All right, well... Uh, As I mentioned, I uh, did not see these unique rectangles initially. And I looked at this puzzle for a while, like, and it puzzled me, pun intended. Um, but then I finally saw the unique rectangles, saw that the 8 goes here, had to go here, couldn't go here or here. Found that 8 and that 3, and then I was able to finish the puzzle. But I, at this, um, I don't, couldn't see any other way to solve that puzzle other than using unique rectangles. 
So sometimes I do look at a puzzle for a long time before finding a way to solve it. And that's what happened to this one. But then I saw those URs. I saved the day. Well, thanks for watching. Happy solving and happy holidays.